In the last video, we started looking at working backwards. We were given a probability and we had to find the corresponding value of Z. We're going to continue that work in this video and look at tail probabilities. What we can say now is the probability that Z, which is our continuous random variable, being greater than some observed value of Z, will be equal now to P. P is given in a percentage points table. So let's consider this one. This is the area trapped under the curve to the right of this line. So we can, uh, from previous work, see now on this one right here, that if we've got zero, the area trapped under the curve to the right of that line is going to be one half. These are often called tail probabilities, and generally we use them for very small probabilities and areas trapped under curves. So if we want to look at this one, the probability is going to be a half of this uh, value of z being greater than zero. If we take another one, let's look at another one of these. What we've got down the bottom now, we can say there's a 10% chance that the value of z is going to be greater than 1.2816 standard deviations above the mean. And this will represent a small area like so. So what we would do, we'd have this line. And these percentage points table correspond to this area trapped under the curve to the right of our value. So here we've got our little value. This area now is 0 0.1 and this value of Z is going to be 1.2816. Often we will use these tables. We won't always use them because sometimes we'll revert back to the standard normal tables. And also we may look at symmetry when we've got negative numbers. In general, if the probability of Z being greater than Z is more than one half, we're going to be having a negative number. And we'll look at a couple of examples of that. So let's start off. We're told the probability of Z being greater than A is equal to 0 0.1500. We need to find the value of A. So let's go to the table and look up this value. So what we've got then is the following. We go to the table. This is the value that we've got. The probability is given now as 15% or 0.15. Therefore, the corresponding value of Z is going to be 1.0364. So what we can do on here, now let's put this on, we're going to have 1.0364. We can now draw a line and we can say that this right here, and this will be the line, the probability that our continuous random variable is greater and this value is given to be now 0.15 or 15 percent chance and that's just that little bit of area enclosed under the curve to the right of the line okay let's look at the next one we're told the probability of z being greater than a is given as 0.9500 this value is greater than one half therefore it's negative if we now consider the symmetry of the curve what we've got then, we've got this large area trapped under the curve to the right of this line. So if we now put on, this is the area that we're talking about. So all we need to do is use the idea of finding this small tail area down here, or tail probability. This value is A. So if we were around the other side of it, what we would see is the standard normal curve, and we would end up having something looking like so. We can't get this value from our standard normal table. Instead, what we do is consider the area now just here. And if I put on A, we can have a tail probability to the right of A. And that value is going to be 1 minus this one right here. So 1 minus 0 0.95 will give me now the area trapped under the curve to the right of A is going to be 0 0.05. We go and look that up in the table, and that will give us the value of A. It will give us the value of positive A. Therefore, because this is greater than half, we need to take the negative value of that. So let's go and look this up in the table. So what we want then is this one right here, 0 0.0500. So we can say it's going to be 1.6449. Because we know it's more than a half, that's going to be a negative value. So we've got now 1.6449, and that's going to be 
negative, as this point right here is the positive. All we've done now is found the probability of being 0 0.95 being greater than this. So all we've got to do is go to the table. OK, let's look at the next one. What we've got now is the probability that Z is greater, and let's put this on, we'll put it just here. Now that number's less than a half, so we know it's going to be positive. And if we put this up just here, we're given this area. Logic would say that we go back to our percentage points table and find the tail probabilities. And if we think about this, that would be nice. This isn't going to be in that table. So let's put A here. This area right now is double one, one, two. If I subtracted that from 1, what we could get now is the area to the left of the curve, and therefore we could use phi of a being equal to 1 minus that value. So if we do 1 minus that value, we're going to end up now with phi of a. So we can say phi of a will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.1112. And all we've got to do is look that up. So what we're looking for then is phi of a, so let's write this here, phi of a being equal to 0 0.8888. And this will now give us the area, or give us a value of a, that has the corresponding area of 8888. So let's go back to our standard normal. Um, where are we? Let's try and find one. Um, okay, here we go. So this is what we want. So what we're looking at now is the area trapped under the curve to the left of the line, and that gives us now 1.22. This is the area, this is the value of A that we want. So let's put that on, and this right here, A, is going to be equal now to 1.22. So all we've done is look this up in the table and found the value. So it's not always a case of using the percentage points table. It's sometimes a case of just going back to the standard normal table. OK, let's look at this last one. What we've got then, the probability that Z is less than A is equal to 0 0.9990. Alternatively, what we could say now is the probability that Z is greater than A is 1 minus this value. So what we're looking for is a very small value to the right of this line. So if we subtracted this now away from 1, what we'd have here, this area right here, is going to be equal to 1 one thousandth. So all we need to do is look that up. So we can have 0 0.001. And if we look this up in our table, and we can get that from the percentage points table, we'll find the value of A. So let's grab a percentage points table. Let's see which way it was. There we go. So I've now looked up 0 0.001. And be very careful, it's really quite easy to make mistakes and pick this one here. So what we can see is this is going to be 3.0902. So let's put that on. So what we've got then is 3.0902. And that is the value of A. Or we could say the probability that Z is less than 3 0.0902 standard deviations above the mean is equal to this value right here. So there we go, using tail probabilities or percentage points table to find the value of A given certain values of the probability.